Tonight, though, increased concerns over teen vaping being used possibly to take illicit drugs, prompting now a North Texas school district to start a random drug testing program for students. Decatur ISD will now require all secondary students in extracurricular activities to be part of this program. Jason Allen is getting started tonight in Decatur. So some of the testing, I understand, is going to start in the next couple of months, correct? Right, Doug, and that's going to be a pilot program this spring. It's going to be all voluntary to start. But then in the fall, any student that wants to play out here on this field, any student that wants to be in the band out here, any student that wants to have a, a permit just to park the car at school will have to agree to these random tests. Anything extra school students in Decatur want to be part of is going to require an extra commitment of submitting to random drug tests. It will include students as young as the seventh grade and those in all extracurricular activities from sports to speech to student government. I do get a sense that we have a community that really wants to get in front of it to make sure that it doesn't become a problem. School superintendent Joe Coburn said e-cigarettes and the fact students could use them to ingest other drugs played a part in the school board moving forward with testing. The district is expected to use a common five panel test, which looks for marijuana, opiates, amphetamines, cocaine, and PCP, and they are also planning to test for nicotine. And maybe now we've armed that child with the ability to say, you know what, I'm going to have to pass, and I've got a built in, ready made excuse that anybody in this social scene is going to understand. First positives would result in parent notification and counseling, not punishment or notifying state authorities or law enforcement. Additional positives would likely come with a penalty for sports and other activities, which parents we talked to approved of. Kind of like saying no, no pass, no play. If you don't pass, um, you know, drug testing, you can't do that. So I mean, that's that's awesome. I support it. It's going to help keep them healthier. It's going to help keep them safer and hopefully make wiser decisions in life because what they do now is going to affect them later on. Schools in Argyle, they have a very similar program. That one is just for high school students and school districts in Keller and South Lake Carroll. They also have voluntary drug testing programs. We're live in Decatur tonight. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.